I scored 100 in science last year, so I'm the best person to guide you about this. How to present your paper like a topper would or how I presented my paper. To basically go from 95 to 100, it's a matter of presentation. You have to write answers as if you're spoon feeding the teacher. Imagine a teacher as a fifth grader and you have to provide them everything. Provide every single thing you think is important, no matter the word limit of any answer. First of all, MCQs. Always write the option fully. And if you do want to save time, write it as A, first word, dot, 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 last word. But don't leave it as only option as marks can be cut for doing that. And if you've already done that, then let's hope for the best. There's no requirement to show working but if you do then that's good two marker and three marker questions let's say there's a question of how does x contribute and y first write what x and y are and then state the reason and the observation similarly whenever something is asked about x write the definition of x and then branch it out to the actual answer since that's going to make the teacher think you know more than an average person would and then they'll give you full marks provide extra information even though it might not be required this is an unconventional tip but i got 100 so who will you trust what i mean by that is give unnecessary information but don't give irrelevant information and do not underline the unnecessary info as keywords only the actual info should be underlined let's say you're asked what's double circulation write the answer but also make the diagram this is what i did in my ex extra info extra impression extra marks do not give info that is not in the book but identify the places where you can add extra information for the teacher to gain more marks and to convey more info always always underline keywords this is the step which will get you the most marks keywords are the words which would sum your answer up again let's say double circulation is asked the keywords would be pulmonary pulmonary artery, pulmonary vein, atrium, ventricle, etc. If you underline keywords, the teacher will overlook your other mistakes as well, which you have made in the paper. Explanation is in this video. For competency-based questions, first you would have to explain the situation on what's happening and what will happen next. Let's say, for example, this question has been given. First, you have to explain the phenomena that when light enters, dust particles scatter, etc, etc. And then start with the answer and the actual reason to the answer. And to practice more competency-based questions, go to the CBSC website for CFPQ and I've also uploaded the important questions. The link will be in the description for activity based questions you do not need to write everything like a material required etc all you have to do is summarize the procedure and then write the observation the observation is the most important for every important activity or activity just remember the observation as it can be asked in a question form but if it says suggest an activity to do x then you would have to write it fully the diagram doesn't need to be good it just needs to be neat and labeled properly start each diagram from a new page so that neatness be maintained right if you have any difficulty in remembering a specific diagram make the diagram and then stick it onto your wall and just keep looking at it for 10 minutes so that you would have a photographic memory of what the diagram was for each new section write the section name on the top section a section b the questions of a section can be answered in a random order but different section ke questions saath mein mat karna. once your paper is over go to the washroom wash your face and then revise your paper with a fresh mind as if it's your friend's paper that you're able to identify and correct more mistakes i've launched channel memberships to take doubts of serious people fast i'll also provide with better guidance so do join the channel it's cheap and it will help you in maths and sst as well and for more tips to score better subscribe